Hey, Kendall here with Black Gobus, and today I'm talking about the Stone Glacier de Havilland Light Pant. This pant I uh, didn't really give a lot of attention to, but I decided to go full Stone Glacier on my bear hunt this spring, and this was my pant of choice. Absolutely, definitely love this pant, and I'm really looking forward to using it more throughout this summer, and I know I'm going to be using it this fall. I'm going to dive into some of the features as well as a couple of micro uh, uh, adjustments I may make as well as show you how some of these features work. So first off, as far as an overall pant, the pant weighs in at one pound, three ounces. It's a DWR treated 89% nylon, 11% double weave spandex. And the double weave nylon spandex does decrease the weight than what they had used in their previous version, which is not the light pant, but the regular de Havilland pant, which does have a little bit of, uh, of uh, fleece on the inside. This is a good three season pant, and you could probably run it uh, all summer, especially thanks to the side zips, which I'll, I'll talk about here in two seconds. So it has an integrated belt system, which I actually really did like, and you can achieve uh, a really good fit with that. It does have these super lightweight belt loops, but I don't think, you know, I, it, it's over redundant. If you are a belt guy, I would rely on this. Uh, so two hand pockets, two rear pockets, just have a sewn down flap. They do not have a zipper or a, or a fixed closure, but they are a deep, a deep pocket. So I wouldn't feel a little terrible about leaving my wallet in there. There's no way that thing's coming out. And then two cargo pockets, one on each side. Two things to mention about the cargo box are three things. Number one is they built in a little bit of extra fabric for a bellow. Two, quiet snap on uh, on the closure. And number three, on the left-hand pocket, on the inside of the cargo pocket, there are actually two pockets within the pocket for holding a cell phone or other items that you don't want kind of you know rolling around inside your pocket. So really nice feature there. And then as you move down the pant, it's more of an athletic cut with articulated knees, which I really liked and a boot cut bottom, which I didn't like so much. And I'll tell you a little bit more of that, about that in two seconds. So that's kind of the overall look of the de Havilland pant. Um, sizing wise, I am a th I wear a 34 basically in all the pants that I own. Uh, but I did have to go, even though the sizing chart does say 33 to 36 on the, uh, on the medium, I bumped up to the large, the large tall actually, because I'm six foot four. And the medium waist fit me well. But what I found is the through the thighs, the uh, it was it was a little bit too tight for me with the uh, with the medium. So I bumped up to the large, and that kind of leads me into the next kind of major feature, which is the contour waist system. And this is a patent pending pending system. I have a buddy, for example, that works for REI. He's worked for REI for 25 years. He's seen everything. He's he sews product. When he saw these pants and the, and his contour zip system. He was absolutely blown away. It, this is something you've never seen before, and, and I don't think you'll see it since it because they've got it patented. But what it is, is the zipper system, you can, as you zip down the fly, you've got actually a Velcro system here. You, you can adjust the waist and basically that whole fit without having elastic or draw cord or whatever the case may be that you might try to, to create. This is, this is definitely out of the box, and, and hats off to, to, to Kurt and the crew. This is, uh, this is revolutionary. And what I found is this is actually better when you have on is, is to unzip that, pull that over and continue that process until you get that proper fit on the waist and through, through this, the mid area. So really interesting uh, waist system and don't scoff at it the first time you did. That's what I, I kind of looked at it like freely. But after using it, um, I absolutely love it. And I'm, and, and I'm really grateful that I, I gave these pants a chance contoured waist system, really, really neat. The second major feature that's gonna stand out is the side zips right here. This is a 21 inch full length side zip. This goes basically from just under the pocket to about mid calf. This is called the stratum layered zip system, which is a system that they've created that has their base layer, this pant and the rain pant all have the same zipper area so you can vent all the way down to the skin if you want to. Um, in using this pant in the field, I did find that I would actually zip down and up. It was rare that I zipped the entire pant, more so because just moving around on the mountain as we were looking for bears, glassing, moving to different locations. I mean, that was a ton. I mean, I really didn't need this much venting, but 
surprisingly, when I had it, you know, maybe zip down part way, or zip, when I would zip up, golly, it was super nice to get that ventilation down in that lower leg where you sometimes get a lot of heat. It's definitely more robust than any of the other brands out there that I've seen that have that side zip venting option. Two other things I was gonna mention is knee pads. This has an integrated knee pad sleeve. Um, I, took the, I took the knee pads out of my old Sitka pants and I wear the large tall, so these are the large tall ones. The medium ones fit in there as well. It's actually access, there's a sleeve in here. You can access, the pad goes up and then down into the pocket. And it actually is very nice having the zipper system because you can come in from the side and take care of that. As far as putting the knee pad in while the pan is on, still you can do that. A little bit difficult. I find it much easier to do that before you put the pants on. So knee pads is definitely a really nice feature. Stone Glacier does not make their own knee pads. The last thing I was gonna talk about was, it's my only criticism really of the pants. It's an athletic cut, but it's got a boot cuff uh, like bottom. And, and to me, that was, uh, was definitely bell bottom style. And maybe because I had to go from the medium really up to the large tall, I had my mom actually help me tailor these and she took two inches off the bottom to get what I would consider a pretty standard cut. So even though it is intended to go over a boot, um, my, uh, my change if I, was, if I was working at Stone Glacier would be to narrow that just a little bit and it still achieves a very, very good fit. So overall, the De Havilland Light Pant from Stone Glacier, I would highly recommend it. I am looking forward to getting a lot more field time with this pant and I hope you'll check it out and give that a look as you consider what is a good, a really great, actually, three-season uh, hunting pan for this year. Any questions about this pan or other gear from Stone Glacier, feel free to reach out to us via phone, chat, or email, and we'll see you next time on the next video.